my name is Holly Ann Knight, and it's my job to guide you to cult of confidence. And we have Darcy back! Yay! <laughs> uh, if, for those of you who are new, Darcy worked here at Shrink and Story for about nine months. We love her so much, and she's been busy with kids and all the things. And uh, I was lucky enough, though, to get her back today because National Left-Handers Day is coming up, and I wanted to bring our favorite resident left-hander in <laughs> oh my to talk about all things left-handed sewing and quilting. What so. an honor. <laughs> It is so good to have you back. Oh my gosh. Yay. Oh, it feels so fun to be here. This feels like early string and story when it was just me and Holly Ann doing all the things. So And the road was closed. And <laughs> that was uh, you got here. <laughs> Slight twitch of the eyes and the brain. We did have the whole, uh, the whole, the whole stickers. If you got a whole sticker, you know, drop us a yeah, If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're not worried. It's fine. And you don't need to be worried. They were holographic. They were it pretty was great. pretty fabulous. It was on my phone. <laughs> Mine's still on my laptop, and I maniacally chuckle slash eye twitch every time I look at it. So you know. Um, so being a left-handed so a sing quilter, how, how is that? Well, let's see. I mean, when I'm thinking of left-handed sewing, the first thing that comes to my mind is scissors because there's nothing worse than trying to use right-handed scissors when you're a lefty or, in my case, buying scissors for myself and then my whole entire right-handed family uses it and then they're no longer left-handed scissors because they get yeah. worn down differently. Yeah. So, so if you're not familiar, basically when you use a pair of scissors, the way that you close them, your hand actually puts torque on those blades and that's what brings them together to create a clean cut. So these are Fomore shears, and Darcy is holding the left-handed ones, and I'm holding the right-handed ones, and they're actually mirror image, so that based on the hand that we're holding the scissors with, there's different torque on there. So if you have left-handed scissors and your right-handed people use them, then they're putting different pressure on those blades, and it is going to wear them down differently. Mm -hmm. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, are there good quality left-handed scissors available? Well, prior we, to now, <laughs> we have quite a selection right here. Um, I've tried various pairs, and sometimes I've found that in general it's better to buy just generic scissors and not let anybody else use them, like right left-handed on it. Yeah. Um, as far as like the stuff that I found at the big box stores, they do have some that are like they have like the left hand shape in it yeah the other interesting thing is being a lefty having cut with right handed scissors for so long i have like trained my hand to put pressure on it in a different oh, way interesting. which is probably not great for me i was gonna say muscles. as someone who uses your hands a lot this is not yes. great for your joints no it's really not oh, my carpal tunnel my yeah I know. so we're gonna solve this problem yes love this plan yeah um, what are some of the other things that are maybe interesting? Well, I, lefty? Think, <laughs> I think the one that you might be most familiar with is me cursing out all of the uh, rulers it's every true. time that I have to cut anything for a quilt because yeah. they have this. This is a right handed ruler. So, yes. what's wrong with this ruler? So, the wrong. half inch is on the wrong side for me. So, when I go to cut with this, if, in order to have it right side up so that the numbers are facing me so you can read them easily, they're going in the wrong direction, first of all, mm -hmm. and the half inch is on the side. So I have to automatically adjust everything to be half inch in my head. So if I want five inches, I have to say, okay, that's one. I'm at the, the 11 and a half. That's one inch. 10 and a half is two. So on and so forth until I get to five inches. And then I have to remember that it's there and keep doing that every single time. And I make so many mistakes when I have to do that. that okay, or, that's what I was thinking about is the number of errors that that would cost. That's yeah. a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. I have to flip it upside down and read the, the number yeah. upside down, which I am very good at, but, <laughs> but, that's but still, still, that's annoying yes. at the very least. And I think that it's fair to say that cutting is my least favorite part of the process. That makes sense. Because that's a this. lot of extra, because cutting is a lot of energy anyway. Yes. Like I was in a Facebook group this week and someone, I don't remember what quilt they were making, but they were like, this cut list is insane. And it truly was like, it was just like, you're going to be there a minute. Yeah. Well, good luck. But imagine then having to like adapt so much every single time. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, and I remember that when you were here, you would be sitting there like counting it out <laughs> and you would say, you're like, remind me it's such and such. And I'm like, I'm not gonna why? Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> I had to learn about adaptation. So I made a new discovery recently. And this was part of what made me ask Darcy if she would come hang out. Um, Creative Grids, shout out to Creative Grids, has recently, I don't know how recent this is, recent enough that I hadn't heard about it, Darcy hadn't heard about it has started releasing a line of left-handed rulers, which I feel like is just absolute magic. I'm very excited about it. Um, and they have this lovely little left-hand symbol on them, and all the numbers are reversed. So, to show these side by side. So you can see that they're literally mirror image. So that when Darcy lays hers down and is holding it with her right hand to cut with her left, 
she doesn't have to play the counting game anymore. Yes. Which is so exciting. Yes. And that, if that's, if you've never cut left-handed or you don't have a left-handed friend, just put your right hand on the ruler and then look <laughs> off to your left and be like, what am I supposed to do now? We were really like laughing really hard as we were opening this <laughs> up because you don't, because like, I don't know, cutting rulers are weird anyway, where the numbers are and like all of that. Yeah. And we both were like, <laughs> back and forth. Like, let me show you like this. And you cut like this. Yeah. And I'm like, you do what now? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I, I couldn't cut that way. Cause you know, as a right-handed cutter, I'm moving my ruler, you know, I'm measuring and then, you know, coming back. Yep. And, and I'm doing this, the, yeah, <laughs> the other way. What? <laughs> so Every magic. time we did it live, people were like stressed out when yeah. I was cutting because they're like, it doesn't look right. You're doing it backwards. I'm like, no, I'm doing it right for me. Yes. <laughs> it's very important. So I'm excited about all of these inclusive things. Yes. So, uh, love to this. give you a quick tour of the table here, this is a 12 and a half inch ruler. This is a six and a half inch ruler. This is 12 and a half by six and a half. So these are all kind of standard sizes. And then of course there's six and a half by 24. Um, I just, I think it's, about, it's not quite their whole collection, but these were the ones that I was like, those are the sizes that I use. And this so is a I solid start. Yeah. Um, maybe someday creative threads, hint, hint, I'll do a left-handed stripology ruler. Would oh, that not be the most amazing thing? That would be phenomenal. That yeah. was the first thing I said when I looked at the yes. stripology. Yeah. It was like, but I was like, well, cool. What do we do for left-handed? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, uh, there's all the, I don't know where it is. There's all the yeah. like squares and stars yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like you're going this way, but that doesn't work. It doesn't work backwards. Way. Yeah. yeah. So hint, 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 Re-square and star. Yeah. 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 They just need to make, they just need to flip it. Same way they've done these. It looks phenomenal. That. Um, and then we've got a few uh, scissors here. These are a like razor edge little snip, some duckbill scissors, which Fomori as a general rule will use blue handles to indicate left-handed. I had a very interesting That's... argument with a, a human who came in. She was not a quilter, so I feel more comfortable sharing this story. She came in and she wanted a pair of scissors and she adamantly wanted the blue ones, but she was not left-handed. And I was having to explain like that that was a terrible choice. <laughs> you are not gonna have fun. Yeah, well, she was not, buy, not trying to buy them for quilting either. So I was like, I just am not sure these are the right fit for you. Um, so just know that like, this isn't because we're trying to exclude you from the color blue if you love blue, this is to be an indicator. So um, a lot of them are blue and then these, um, they, they aren't blue, but they're backwards. They're backwards. So, <laughs> you know, um, which I I'm so excited about it. I, I want to you try to cut right handed with left handed. Yeah, okay. Like that right. So that would be an interesting. I'm curious to see if this will work. These are really, really sharp. So, one of the other fun things about Fomore is if you own their scissors, um, it's lifetime free sharpening. So, you okay. can mail them in or you can meet them in an event and they'll sharpen them for you, which is also handy if your right handed family gets a hold of your scissors and messes them up. That's so smart. Um, you can be like, I need to get them resharpened. It's no big deal. Um, so, we'll see if it does it for me. When Brent was demoing, basically, it would fold the fabric. So yes. these are, yeah, you can see there how it caught mm -hmm. because I'm not putting the right torque on the blade versus, you know, and also a very crooked cut. <laughs> well, well, you know, it's not your main hand. It's, it's not my main hand, hand you know. <laughs> my not main hand doesn't do a great job. With versus cutting. those which just slides right through. Yeah. So that is interesting. I'm wondering too if, yeah, that one is and see, I have to adjust my hand. Yeah, I'm so used to sure. cutting. Yep. <laughs> but no, that is definitely a lot easier. So we love that. Um, How fun is that? Are they at events like quilt cons for sharpening? Um, I don't know if they usually do quilt con. I mean, they'll be at Dragon Con this year. We actually just recently had them here, so that will continue. So we'll have them in periodically. Um, I hope they'll be at QuiltCon. They go to some AQS shows. They'll be at OSQE here locally. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're at a lot of shows. And then again, you can mail them in. So like even I their um, rotary blade, I don't know if I have one handy. It says like save this case because you can use that case to mail them in. Is there one? Oh, there we go. So it says on here, like on the back, there's a note of like save this case for mailing the blades in for sharpening because they even sharpen their rotary blades because they're like wonderful. a special steel. Yeah. And it Which reduces super, weight. We love yeah. it. We love reducing weight. Yes. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And keeping things sharp. So um, if you're game, I want to show you cutting with this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? All right. Awesome. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's do that. All right, Darcy, give us a tour of this ruler. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Now, this would be the way that you would usually set it up for right it handed. Is, yeah. So I just trimmed up my edge right here just to make sure that it's nice and even to start with. So we're going to flip this around. This is how I would cut something normally. Does this stress you out yet? My brain just <laughs> broke. So we're going to say, what do we want to cut? One inch strips? Sure. Let's try this. 
I would keep wanting to flip the ruler. I actually do two and a half inch strips because then it could be a binding or something. Ooh, two and a half. Make it practical. I love that. Okay. <laughs> So I'm lining it up with the five inch here, which I don't have to flip upside down. Incredible. I'm feeling really fabulous right now. <laughs> All right. And then you can just easily slide it and I don't have to adjust numbers. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Life changing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love that. No math. Do you have any left-handed rulers at all? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, you, so every <laughs> time you make a quilt, you've had to do this. Yes. This is like a very new experience for me today. I didn't let her look at these rulers ahead of time either, just so you know. I have kept them a secret. It's so fun. This is gonna be like the shortest little bite. We should do like, <laughs> we she's should ideating, be, she's ideating. We should cut another one this size, but a different color. We have back and forth by oh, That would be cute. Really fun. That'd be really cute. All right. <laughs> this is what I do. I just sit here and generate ideas. Like some sort of idea generating I love her. No, that's wonderful. And then two you. and a half. Ah, this see, is this so is going to cool. save so many mistakes. You guys, every time I have to buy extra fabric because I make mistakes. Oh, I just finished a, and it should be out by the time that this video is out, I'm assuming, um, a Toad and Sew sample mm -hmm. quilt. Yeah. And when, it, on when is page. that coming out? Um, middle to end of August. Okay, this will be out first. Okay, so this will be out don't, first. Don't go give check Toad and Sew. I won't give away any secrets. <laughs> You can go check Toad and so it's not a secret pattern, but the colorway is really fun. It's for August. And so I did that for her. And because of my left-handed, <laughs> right-handed ruler, I cut one of the things wrong and then had to sew pieces back together and recut it because I didn't have extra fabric. Because oh, no. <laughs> she sends us the fabric for that. Yeah, so. that is so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ta -da. Game changer. Really so nice. if we flip the ruler around, what are the numbers on the other side? Okay, so let's check the other side here. We have a... So this starts with the half inch there. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and look, it has the numbers across there. So you still don't have to do math. That's really nice. That is <laughs> really cool. And I like that they marked the like, they you can use the half inch lines both directions, obviously, like it's marked, right. but whether or not you're needing dominantly half inch increments or dominantly whole inch increments, yeah. you can flip the ruler around. So this one, if we, since we're doing two and a half, then you could go to that five easily right yeah. there because it's marked five on the half inch. The that's very cool. normal yeah. area. So that we can just keep cutting our two and a half inch strips here Magic. to make our um, mystery binding. Mystery binding. Whatever we're gonna use it for. Yeah. We're gonna use it for something. All right. Wild. And then we just discussed while we were while we were uh, rear the camera, camera <laughs> that the blades do fit in these mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, the um, Fomori blades will fit in any handle of your favorite choice. So yes. they of course have a handle. Um, but yeah, if you like another one. Or you already have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just want to upgrade your blade situation. Yes, because Good I hand. have also, as I was mentioning before, I didn't tell this story yet. I, my first um, rotary cutter that I ever bought was a right-handed rotary cutter. And I didn't know that there was, that it was going to not be reversible until I got it home. So that is a reversible rotary cutter or something I'm always mm -hmm. looking forward to. So yeah, <laughs> I love that. Do you notice that with rotary blades, they get handed in the same way that scissors do, or is that... I'm trying to think. Uh, my only experience in sharing a rotary blade would be here, yeah. and ours just wore down so fast because we were cutting so much fabric. Yeah. So I don't know that I could say that it was specific to um, right-handed or left-handedness, yeah. more so than just us cutting just like cut so much fabric. Much fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that tracks. Well, this is exciting. Thanks for letting me use yes! this again. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. If you have, do you have a closing thought or tip for your fellow lefty sewists? Oh, closing thought or tip for lefty sewists. Let me think. Um, I, I don't know that I really do. <laughs> I feel like this, and, and all you right-handed folks love you. You guys are great. <laughs> But my lefties probably know this um, as much as I do. We're very used to watching and adjusting mm -hmm. for ourselves because our whole lives have been watching people do something and then mirror reversing it and adjusting to make it fit for us. So I that was an interesting, this is more like, now like a rant on right-handed people. Um, when I was teaching here, the, the right-handed people had a really hard time adjusting what I was doing to them. They had a hard time like seeing me do something and flipping it mirror image where I feel mm -hmm. like that's something I've done all my life. So it's yeah. never something I knew I had to like reteach a different way. Like, oh, while I'm doing this, you're going to hold it with this hand and you're going to cut it this way. You know, that's interesting. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that being really hard. Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, 
more so that you lefties got this. Yeah, I'm sure you righties do too, but <laughs> I, love that. I think something that I've seen in our FMQA community, and I think just an encouragement if you haven't done this already, which you probably have, but you know, um, every time we have a new cohort of FMQA students within the first day or two, someone puts up a post, where are my lefties at? And they work together to mirror image the stuff I'm teaching because I'm right dominant. And fortunately with FMQ, like it's a little bit less of a thing because you have both hands on your quilt under your domestic and whatever, yes. but there's still a little bit of that. Like if I'm doodling, they're going the other way, things mm -hmm. like that. And so I think just finding your, finding your folks and yeah. like having help as you're making mirror images. Is there a lefty out here that's done this that can show me what that looks like? My brain is struggling. Yes. Um, and of course, now that we know about them, having the right tools for the job. Oh my gosh, yes. This makes a world of difference. This is so exciting. Yay! Cutting with the scissors and having to like tell my hand you don't have to adjust it because it's just going to cut is such an interesting experience. Yeah, <laughs> that is amazing. Love I'm so that. excited. <laughs> for all of y'all. Yay! <laughs> happy Left Day! Yay! Happy Left Day!